Hello, welcome to Hikes, Pikes and Sites. I'm Chris. Episode three, Baitings Dam, Baitings Reservoir. Look at that. Built in 1956, took eight years to build and it dams Baitings Reservoir. Let's go. Right, Wakefield Corporation Waterworks started impounding the valley of the River Ryburn in the 1930s with Ryburn Reservoir being completed in 1933. 20 years later, 1956, this place was built, Baitings, and um, it's fantastic. Jerry not spells the weather, an old pack horse bridge gets revealed, like I said, the water subsides, uh, and it's an absolutely amazing sight. Uh, unfortunately, it's been peeing down for the last God knows how many weeks, so we're not going to get to see that today. So what I will do, I'll probably come back when that's revealed and uh, do a bit about it. Just been speaking to a local farmer who owns this land. He was telling me that his, um, his dad helped build the dam back in 1956. Uh, awesome cart, carting big, huge, hand-carved stone blocks to build it. None of that pre-fab pre rubbish we use today. Uh, but yeah, it is a really nice place. There's footpaths everywhere. There's loads of little paths and walks about you can go on there's another reservoir down there uh, and he was telling me that I've also read about about the old pack horse bridge which is where the new bridge is that we've crossed before when the water goes down it reveals itself which is amazing it's preserved by the reservoir so yeah there you go Now don't let uh, this next item put you off coming to this wonderful place. 
Uh, it actually is a dark side Beatings reservoir. There was a body found in it in 1989. Uh, apparently the poor person was shot in the head, uh, weighed down with a pickaxe, and the only, way, the only reason they revealed the body is because of a drought. Beatings Dam took eight years to construct. It holds Beatings Reservoir, which supplies Wakefield with its natural water. The lovely thing about this place is all the water comes naturally from all the moorland around and there is a hell of a lot of it. It's a beautiful place. Very unspoiled. What I do like about this place is, as well is you've got modern construction like this, well modern 50s, 30s and 50s um, construction coinciding with natural brooks and streams as well, all working together to supply people with the water. Anyway, the dam is a curved structure. It's 140 feet long and 160 feet high, that's 50 metres in old money, or new money, whatever you want to call it. The reservoir covers 59 acres, and has a catchment of water, 1,830 acres, that's 742 hectares. It takes all the water from the natural moorland all along the thingy, and it's done by using man-made culverts, open-top culverts, alongside with natural streams, brooks and rivers, uh, which I find fascinating how they can coincide and work together uh, without spoiling this lovely part of nature. Anyway, the reservoirs, there's, there's a few in the area, they're all connected by the Mansfield Tunnel. It's 8,000 feet long and it opened in 1962. And that's what links all these reservoirs. So I've had a, a nice good walk today, still a bit chilly, I might come back tomorrow with the kids, um, but yeah, I'll see you all for part four next time, which will be Staley Bridge, peace out, stay safe. <laughs>